Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for these two wine coolers. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. We have two wine coolers here and neither one of them have the fan running or anything, no lights. So most likely the breaker is stripped. Here's the first cooler four doors and here's the second one four doors and we got nothing going on okay real quick if you look at that thermostat on the black wire I'm gonna show a picture and try to get it inside there a little closer I just can't get my head in with all these bottles excuse me my camera so what I see here is there's a burn mark on the actual temperature controller all right just cleared out a few bottles Look at that burn mark to the right of the black wire. <laughs> All right, so I found the breaker panels behind these walls. And right away, I know that it is this one. Look how it's in the mid position. It's not on and it's not off. It's in the mid position and it's tripped. I did see the spark on that controller. So what I'm gonna do is not reset it yet it tripped for a reason you're gonna trip it and it's gonna happen again what I'm gonna do is disconnect the wires for that thermostat and see if everything else comes on if it does then we know the issue is in that area yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna see what's going on right now your breaker oh, stripping okay. oh, you're right now? I just came yeah oh, okay. yeah I'm gonna see what's going on I'm gonna find the problem first I'll take care of this So here's that breaker. If you try to put it on, it's not gonna do anything. You gotta put it on off. I know some of you know this, but some of you don't. You gotta put it on off, turn it on, and look, it didn't trip. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over there. All right, the lights are totally back on. The fan is running on this side. The fan is running on this side, and this one is cold. This one has a thermostat connected. So, we should be good. They just shared a line. So the issue was the other box. Lights are on. This fan is running. And this fan is running. And we got no cooling, but that's because the thermostat is disconnected. Alright guys, I just picked up a new thermostat. This is a Dan Foss refrigeration mechanical thermostat. Engineering tomorrow. I do notice some dirt over here. They could use some cleaning. But right now we have an issue with the thermostat. So here's the thermostat and here's the sensing bulb. I have a unit very similar to this. Now we know where the breaker is, of course. Let's go ahead and turn it off once again. Alright, this one. Oh, it's labeled low boy all right let's go ahead and get started got a little ring here it's already loose comes right off the top. powers out Here's the sensing bulb we got one and two screws over there let's go ahead and take that off all right so here's the new thermostat let's go ahead and take off the front cover We have two terminals here. Let's start by, hmm, we could actually do the electrical right here while it's open so you're not like bending your back. So if you have it loose like this, you know what? I'm just gonna start with this actually. Have like a little waterproof thing here and take it out. Hopefully we have enough slack. If anything, I could probably shorten this. I think we're good. We're gonna need some steak ons. Get that in there. Get the ring. And then tighten it down. Alright, got these little steak on us. Let's get that on there. One. I spin them on first. I do a quick 
crimp like this so it doesn't get out of place and I actually have the crimping tool on here. And that's it, it's done, crimped. Just gotta do the same for the other side. Okay, so I was just about to put it in here, but I just realized the broken wire is right here. And that's what happened. This thing shorted out. We gotta redo this. We have to cut this back. It is what it is. It's right here. You see that? Let's take a picture of it. Loosen this up. Get that out the way. Alright. Let's expand this. Just wondering, am I gonna. Oh, yeah, I'm totally gonna reach. We good. Slit it. Get it, get it started. There we go. Now we're now we're making progress. All right. Got a little something going on. Good. There we go. Right there. Should be enough slack. So where's the break? Right here. Here's the break. Just gonna cut that off. And like this we can strip back the wires and redo this process. Mm -hmm. Not using a ground here, so I guess we could just cut it back like they did as well. Run this through again, start this process. As far as this, the way that holds is just you tighten down these screws right here and it, and it holds it in place. It just crimps the insulation of the wire. That's it. All right, just tightening down the terminals. Got everything set up once again. So from here, doesn't reach exactly right there right I want it to be a little straight so let's try to match up the holes right there I can mount it right there all right that's what it looks like pretty neat let's go ahead and put this cover back properly and we could uh, install a knob on this but sometimes I don't do that it's because people mess around with it. They don't typically always have a flathead screwdriver on, but you could always adjust this and it has really caused a lot of problems. All right, that looks pretty good. We need to do everything up. Let's go ahead and start this up. All right, just started everything. 62 degrees, 61.8. Let's see if this thing drops. Oh, 61.6. Yep, this is my fill piece meter. And I like to use this so I can keep the doors closed and check the temperature at the same time. Let's go ahead and give this one and the other one some time to cool down and see what happens. All right, 61. Most likely the solenoid valve opened. All right, guys, so when I mentioned solenoid valve, this is not a regular system. This is a commercial system. It is a split system, it's air-cooled. And this condensing unit actually serves about 20 units, a bunch of walk-in boxes and a bunch of little refrigerators. So these two compressors, and, and this, this is one condensing unit. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what this kind of system is. So from here, they send a bunch of pipes towards the kitchen and bar areas, and pretty much the thermostat works the solenoid valves system's operating we're gonna go ahead and give this thing some time and let's see if that temperature satisfies in the right place all right temperatures are definitely coming down we're at 52 degrees 51.8 the other one is around the same place let's just give this thing some time and pretty much we're just gonna wait for this to satisfy at the right temperature it's hard to see the temperature with this but we're at 47.8 we're just gonna wait for this to drop at the right temperature and 
we just want that solenoid to close but pretty much that was it we had a short we found a short got rid of it changed that thermostat and that was pretty much it we got two boxes running if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as we come up with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time